What's up, y'all? It's your girl Leah back with another video. Today, I'm gonna attempt to vlog. Your girl is gonna have a very, very busy day. I'm not complaining about that or anything, but I'm just gonna do like a day in the life of a realtor. I, you guys know, I'm licensed in multiple states, so I'm. That's why I didn't put any particular state in my description. I have three showings today. They're all in the same city but they're, they're all an hour away. So like an hour away from where I live. Today, I, I was trying to upload a video last night, so I ended up going to bed a little late. Let me go ahead and pack up my bag now. I need to figure out if I can sit you guys up somewhere. I'm actually not gonna be at home for too much longer. I'm gonna probably need to be on the road pretty soon. Where's my wallet? Oh gosh, I feel like I'm like all over the place right now. You guys might be like, oh, well, Aaliyah, why didn't you get up earlier? Look, guys, I was up at a decent time, okay? I wasn't up late. My client, she messaged me and was like, hey, um, you know, I'm going to be wrapping up some um, of my prior obligations a little bit sooner. So do you think that we could get into the house sooner? So I'm like... Let me go ahead on there and see if, you know, we're able to do that. So some homes, if they are go and shows, you can really just get in there um, if, as long as you have access to it. But some, some other properties, they are still being occupied or the owner wants to be able to approve that you come in. So you'll have to schedule an appointment and you have to wait for them to say, yeah, you can come and then it'll come to your phone. So for the first house that me and this client are going to go see, the house is a go and show. One of them is a go and show, but the second one isn't a go and show. So we were supposed to see the first one at what 11, I think, either 11 or 11.30. And now she wants to see it at 10.30, from 10.30 to 11. So that's fine. It's just... I ended up having to wake up literally, well, not even wake up an hour early because I was already awake, but I had to end up getting ready an hour early. So now it seems like I'm rushing. Okay, so I don't know where well I'm, i know where i'm going but i gotta put uh i gotta find the little address and stuff because i don't know how to get there oh my gosh my client just messaged me about another house okay so guys if you are my realtor friends or you guys are like interested in buying a house right the average buyer purchases within their first um five houses but it's gonna be a very very busy busy day today oh gosh why am i feeling i feel i feel so flustered for some reason like and i'm not i'm not new to this i'm true to this so i'm just using this channel to vlog my experiences just you know keep on keeping on i've been doing youtube since i was at vcu if you guys have been you know what i mean with me since then then hey we have about a 56 minute drive. I don't think that I'm gonna be recording for 56 minutes because that's a long time. I'm probably gonna call my mama, you know, catch up with her. I haven't, I didn't talk to her um, too much yesterday. So, you know, I gotta catch up with my backbone. I, would, I feel like I should tell you guys about like my experiences so far. Okay, so let me tell you guys about this time. I'm pretty sure that the guy was, I was being like, racially discriminated against <laughs> i don't know for sure so like I, I will say that i don't know if i was actually being um you know what i mean discriminated because of my uh color or because of my gender i don't know which one all right so i ended up getting connected with this guy his i'm not gonna say his name let's just say his name was green okay so I get connected with Green, and he's like, hey, man, I'm like, you know what I mean? Uh, I like this house. I just wanted to know if, you know what I mean, we could schedule a showing. So I'm like, sure, you know what I mean? I could definitely, you know, work with you, and we could, you know, I could go and meet you there, and we could see the house and stuff. So Green is like, okay, well, 
is there a way that you could give me a virtual showing? Um, because you know I work and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I can do a virtual, and that's not like uncommon. So a lot of people they work during the week and they might not be able to go to every single showing. There's nothing wrong with that. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go ahead and do a virtual tour for you, and I'll send you the videos and all that good stuff. So instead of me sending videos he was like we can just go ahead and facetime so i facetimed him and he was like oh my gosh like, i really love the house like you know this is this house is nice you know what i mean so i'm like okay okay and he was already pre-approved so i really wasn't like that's even better if you are someone that is in the process of buying a house and you're already pre-approved it's like that's perfect you know what i mean you already know what you can afford you're not just out here like shopping willy-nilly like if you're if you're shopping for a million dollar house and you can't afford a million dollar house it would be better for you to know hey i can't afford that house you know what i mean so he knew that that was within his budget so it's, it's ultimately like uh it it was better for my time and it was better for his time as well so we end up um you know i end up getting he said that hey like go ahead and write the contract for me so i'm like okay cool so i get home and he was like um what did he say i was literally like almost done writing the contract and he was like hey um actually is this home um a mobile home or is it manufactured and i was like uh it's mobile he was like well my pre-approval doesn't pay for that now I know that some lenders will not lend for mobile homes. I know that. However, I didn't have any, there was no indication on the pre-approval that it, it was not for mobile homes. The lender never said anything about it not, you know, being able to go through, nothing like that. So I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? That's fine. And then he was like, is there a way that I can get connected with, um, someone else and I'm like you don't want to work with me <laughs> because we, he had already signed the buyer um the buyer agency agreement so I'm like what happened like you know what I mean so he ends up you know what I mean not wanting to work with me so I'm like okay I don't want to work with anybody that doesn't want to work with me and that's perfectly fine like some people just you just don't mix with it. but I'm like why all of a sudden you know what I mean? Do you not want to work with me? I didn't ask him that, but I'm in my head like, what happened? So at first, me and him had only had phone conversations. So I'm sure he knew I was a woman. But he also, like, he had never seen me. So I'm like, it's, it was just so weird. Like, I don't, I don't, I, I couldn't tell you, like, what, what happened from the point where we were FaceTiming to the point where... I was going to go write the contract other than the house you know being a mobile home which he already knew he sent me this house so it wasn't like I sent him this one he sent that to me so I'm like well maybe you know what I mean I don't know if he wasn't expecting for me to be African-American or what like I don't know like you know sometimes like as people of color when it comes to something like that it's easy to assume like are you not wanting to work with me because of you know because we have a, a difference in our race you know what I mean I feel like it's easy for us to you know kind of assume that you know what I mean because we have been discriminated against in the uh the past I'm hoping and praying that I don't have a lot of those experiences but I know that they will happen unfortunately so he ended up wanting to uh you know go work with someone else so i was he was like i'm gonna take my business elsewhere i was like okay that's fine you know what i mean by all means you know so he ends up requesting to see another house and it comes to my notifications now when you are partnered with certain platforms you already the, the client the lead is already it's, it's yours you know what i mean it's not like it's, it's not like they can just 
pick whatever agent they want to once they're already connected with you on these platforms. So he ends up requesting to see another house and it comes to me. So he called me because I was just going to, you know what I mean? I was just going to go ahead and ignore it. He called me and he was like, hey, I was wondering if I could, you know, check out this house. And I'm like, green, you do know this is, you know what I mean? This is a Aaliyah. He was like, oh, he was like, I was trying to get connected with someone else, but I guess it goes directly to you. And I was like, it does. He was like, okay. He was like, well, you know, I, I'll go ahead and, you know what I mean? Can we go ahead and sign the buyer agency agreement again? So I'm like, what? I'm like, this man is crazy. Like, what is he, they, like, what is going on? So I'm like, okay, like, I don't know if he was like just confused about how it worked or what was going on, but I ended up sending him another buyer agency agreement and I worked with him for probably, probably a month and he was like well I, it was on and off because he wasn't very consistent he wasn't able to really go to any of the showings i think that he was only able to go to one and you know i'm like i have other clients that i'm dealing with people that are serious about buying people that are serious about selling i don't have to waste my time you know what i mean on someone that isn't sure that they want to work with me so i'm like why why do you want to continue to work together if if you don't think that I can get deliver you the best possible results why are we why are we working together you know what I mean or why why do you want me to be your your agent there's there's other agents out here that that may you know you might you might be more comfortable with and like I said I don't want to work with anybody that doesn't want to work with me so fast forward we get to um I think it was around like the holidays and I wasn't able to do a bunch of showings and I let him I let all of my clients know hey I may be out of town this day I may I may be out of town this, that day but if you have a home that you want to see I can definitely set it up and I can hire a um I can have a showing assistant go take you guys to go and see it all of my clients were fine every single one of them except for him so I get back to North Carolina and he's like um, I want to go ahead and cancel our buyer agency agreement. And I was like, okay. I was like, I've, I've showed you a bunch of homes. Like, at this point, like, what is the reason, like, that you are wanting to cancel? And he's like, I just need to work with someone else. That's all. I'm like, okay. Go work with someone else. I'm not begging anybody to be a client of mine. So I'm like, bro, like, you can you can go like I don't understand like why are we having this 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 dialogue like I really don't understand like you came to me does that make sense I'm here to help you find a home and you're hiring me to do a service for you so it's like you know that after that initial meeting though or that first the first time that he saw me the 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 business relationship was never the same and I cannot for the life of me tell you why I don't know if I was racially you know what I mean discriminated against I don't know if it had anything to do with my gender I literally do not know you know what I mean it could have been anything so I don't want to put it all on that but that's really the only thing like or he he might just have not liked me as a person <laughs> I rarely get that like people I usually get along great with people regardless if they're my client or not so I was just kind of like just you know taken back by the situation I don't know he was telling me that you know he had a child on the way and I was like you know if he wanted to see a house that was like near train tracks I was like no maybe you shouldn't you, you this might not be the best house for you because this is near a train track and these these this train is uh the track is active you know so like it wasn't like I didn't have his best interest at heart but I guess he just thought that I couldn't deliver what he needed you know what I mean? And I don't want anyone to be unhappy with the service that I provide or feel like they are uncomfortable with working with me. I'm a phenomenal agent. I'm usually able to do a lot of good things for my clients, especially when it comes down to negotiating. So, you know, it's perfectly fine. You know, I hope that 
he you know has found a home and i hope that his baby has come very healthy and strong and i don't i don't have anything against him but i really do wish that i knew the reason that way that you know i'll be better prepared later on but i know that some people they're gonna be a little bit wishy-washy that's just how the game works and I'm, I'm okay with that until you know what i mean i meet people that are more consistent so it's cool you know i i know that i did everything right the right way so anyway that is it for this story time um i'm probably going to continue to vlog throughout the day and i have about 39 minutes left to go to this house so once i get there i'll go ahead and record a little bit so that you guys can see i'm probably not i'm not going to show my any of my clients faces on these vlogs so if you end up messaging me from um this video or any videos in the future just know that you you will not be exposed unless you want to um be in the videos but don't worry about any stuff like that i am going to record like the inside of the house and all that good stuff so you know if you guys are interested in just seeing what the houses look like you can definitely stay tuned for that but i'm gonna go ahead and call my mama so <laughs> you know i can check in with her and get some good luck get a good luck charm before i get there Okay, guys, so I'm not gonna put my microphone on, but we're at the second house. Oh my gosh, my service is like trash right now. So I really didn't get that many, um, I didn't get a really good video of the first house, but the first house is really nice. So maybe they will like that one. And then if we go on a contract or if they decide to put in an offer, I can, you know, do another walkthrough for you guys so you can see it. I'm about to go in here and open up this one. They haven't, my clients haven't got here yet. So I'm going to just, you know, have it ready for them to go. My client is with child, so I don't want her, you know what I mean, having to wait for too long and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Okay guys, so I am done with the first set of showings. We did three. So now it's time for me to go and just sit for a little minute. I had to do a video tour of this last one because my clients, one of them had to uh, head to work. I confirmed with my other client that we are still going to be meeting later on today sometimes things come up so it's just good to just verify to make sure that everything is still on track so i'm supposed to be meeting them at five i'm gonna be meeting them then i gotta send over the client that i just finished up with i have to send her over some lender information so i what i work with zhl most of the time but they don't do manufactured homes or double wise so i'm gonna have to get another lender and the lender that I was working with, the last time I didn't have the best experience with them. So I don't wanna refer someone to them again. And then, you know what I mean, have another headache. So we're not gonna be referring any of my clients to people that are not solid. So I'm gonna say we buy mobile homes. You, you see those signs everywhere, man. Maybe I need to start buying some mobile homes or something. <laughs> I also, I'm gonna have to look up some information about this next home that I have to view show later so that I can be prepared. I'm sure my computer will be charged up by then because I'm gonna I'm gonna charge it while I'm at Starbucks. Okay guys, so I just sat at Starbucks for like what was it? I got there at 12, so 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 424, so <sighs> needless to say, I don't need to sit at Starbucks anymore today. <laughs> So I'm going to go grab some gas really quickly and then I have a showing at five. So I'm going to get some gas. Then I'm going to head over to the showing a little bit early. You know what I mean? Just, you know, so when my client gets there, I'll be able to go ahead and just open up the door for him. So guys, I am, I've, I've gotten at least like 
four clients since I where is the entrance to this gas station? Okay. Um since I was sitting there, so I'm really just gonna have like a lot of emails to catch up on when I get back home. I was gonna go with my friend's house. I still may, but I'm definitely gonna have to be like focused. You know what I mean? When I'm there. You know what I mean? Working and, you know, hanging out at the same time, but not really hanging out, but you know, just spending like quality time. Let me go ahead and pump this gas really quick. I'm I'm gathering as many clients as I can because like obviously if I'm gonna be making content, I need to be keeping up with my clients. So, you know, the more clients, the more content. The more content, the more clients. So it's a win-win situation. I am going to call my mother so she knows where I'm at. You know what I mean? There's nothing like safety. So I'm going to reach out to her, let her know where I am. So she's not worried about her only, her only child, you know? Leslie is in another call. Oh, hell no. Nah. Where is my mama at? This is your only child. You do Ooh, my gas tank already at $50. Lord. Okay, there we go. 50 some, 50 some dollars, baby. Okay. 50, 53 dollars for some gas. All right, let me go ahead and open up this little app. See how far I am from the property. Let me make sure this is the right house because no, I mean, 20 minutes. This, this house is 20 minutes away. Hold on, let me make sure that's the right house. Let me make sure that's the right house. Oh it's a good thing I left early. I was, I was, shoot, at first it said, oh, mm -hmm, five, five, let me see, let me see. Yup, that show lives the right house. Let me go ahead and go. Dang, could have said something, you know what I mean? Let me go ahead and get up out of here. I'm only going to be like 10 minutes early. I thought I was going to be a little bit earlier than that, but I'm glad I... I'm glad I left. You always that's why you always gotta leave a little early because you never know. You never know. There might be some traffic that's going on. That's probably why. Okay, hopefully this isn't too loud. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get on this road. And I will uh get with y'all when I uh oh don't hit my little car now. I will get with y'all when I get to the actual property so you guys can see okay guys so i'm finally at the property i have absolutely no service right now so i'm trying to get some service so that i can pull up the information about the house while i was at starbucks i was able to charge my computer up a little bit i already looked up a lot of information about the property already so it's listed for like four hundred thousand dollars um, a little bit over $400,000 and personally I couldn't find any comparables for that but I mean you know what I mean I, I don't know I think that we probably will offer lower you know what I mean just to play the game because none of the comps justify 400000 400, okay let's go I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the door that way when my client gets here they can just go ahead and walk on in Okay, so I would have to enter in through the back porch, I believe. So I'm gonna just wait on my client that way that, you know, when it's time for us to go in, he can just, we can just go ahead and go in there together. I don't wanna open up the door and then, you know what I mean? He's, oh, actually here he is right here. So I'll go ahead and get with you guys. I'll take some videos of the inside of the house.
Okay, guys, so I just got done with the showing. It, like, the house was pretty nice. It was very spacious. It was, it's listed as a three bed, three bath, but it has additional space upstairs. I don't think that they're counting that as those as bedrooms though. So now um, I am headed back. I actually have a call with another client in about three minutes. So hopefully, you know what I mean, we can get, you know, an understanding. She's ready to purchase. She said, I want to buy this lot. So I'm going to get a better understanding of where her head is at. I'm going to see, you know what I mean, what are your future goals for this property? Yeah, like one thing that you always have to like make sure that you ask your clients um, or if you're interested in buying like land and stuff is what are you going to use the property for because there are restrictive covenants there are you know what i mean zoning regulations like there may be like if you're planning on putting cows on it or livestock the restrictive covenants or zoning may not allow for that so you have to make sure that you know what i mean your future use is allowed also if they're planning on building on the property another super 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 probably the most important thing when it comes to land is if it is um, able to be built on so you have to get a perk test for it so I'm gonna ask her all of those things and see what her where her head is at see what she what she thinks and you know then we'll go from there um, see how she's planning on paying with it like most people when they go to go to purchase land they're usually gonna buy it with cash so I'm gonna at maybe like ask her you know do you have proof of funds because you know what I mean? If we put this offer in to these uh, these sellers and you don't have a proof of funds, then, you know what I mean, how are we going to make a strong offer? So, you know, just all of the, the particulars. I am in a very, very bad area, so I am hoping and praying that my service is good enough to take the call so or to do the call. I am... I'm like 51 minutes from home, so... And the call is like in one minute. So hoping that I can at least get on the highway before, you know what I mean? It's time for us to, you know, talk and stuff. There's a random stop sign right here out of nowhere. And there's no cars coming. Wait, go ahead and stop because that's what it says to do. Go stop at the stop sign. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to record our call, but I'm going to call her now. Man, y'all, I gotta learn me some new languages. I just got off the call with with this new client, and I think that she was speaking like Russian, maybe German. I get mad. I don't know which one. But I'm like, oh, I don't know what she's saying. Like she wasn't speaking like like she was speaking English, but it makes me when I meet new people, it always makes me want to be not even bilingual it makes me want to be like trilingual you know what I mean or you know what I mean I wish that I knew more languages I took three years of French and I don't remember anything well I remember some things but you know what I mean not enough to be able to hold a good conversation I'm about 44 minutes away from my place I'm gonna reach out to my friend to see you know what I mean if she wants me to go to her place or not or if you know she doesn't feel like hanging out because she she worked today too so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get those things done and okay guys so I finally made it to my friend's house I'm walking around the damn building oh, I think that's another place let me not go like this go ahead and go in here with her she may or may not say hi we'll see 